Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. I am back with another Dollar Tree meal, and this time it is lentil tostadas. As usual, before you leave a comment, please read the blog post in the description. It goes in detail over why I do these Dollar Tree meals in the first place. Now, if you've seen some of my more recent videos, you know that John and I are making some dietary changes which makes videos like this a little bit difficult, but maybe not. We are trying to include more fiber in our diets as well as eat more vegetarian style foods and less meat in general. So when it comes to the food at Dollar Tree, I'm kind of limited in what I can buy now, but it just means I need to get a little bit more creative because Dollar Tree has plenty of canned beans, canned vegetables, plenty of like bags of rice and lentils. So I can still make some pretty good meals for these videos. It's just they're more along the lines of vegetarian slash vegan. So hopefully you'll still enjoy them. So thinking about that, I went for more of a Mexican theme. When I think vegetarian, I mostly think uh, Mexican food. So I found these tostadas that I thought would work pretty well. Let me take you to this store real quick and show you what I got and then how I'm gonna make them. We ended up going to a different Dollar Tree, so I kind of felt like I was out of my element, but thankfully they had pretty much all the stuff they have at the other one. So I've been looking at these tostada shells for a while. I thought it would be a good idea to try them and see how they would do in a dinner. Now I love Dollar Tree section of dried goods. They're beans, lentils, rice. They have a one pound bag of lentils for a dollar, which is an amazing deal. So I grabbed one of those and then not always, but sometimes they will have brown rice, a two pound bag for a dollar. So I try to stock up whenever I can. So I got one bag of that. I also looked all the way up there past the Cheeto mac and cheese, by the way. <laughs> I would love to know how that tastes. I grabbed a package of the taco seasoning. And then I wanted some diced tomatoes to kind of make some Spanish rice. And they have the Rotel diced tomatoes with the green chilies, which would be perfect in it. As far as cheese goes, they didn't have any, like, well, they had pepper jack. They didn't have any kind of like Mexican cheese, but I wanted something that was lower in fat. So I saw they had a block of mozzarella, but they also had the bags of the Frigo shredded mozzarella cheese. And they're both real cheese. It's not like the, the weird stuff. So I grabbed just one bag of the mozzarella thinking it would be enough for our dinner. So that is everything for our dinner. I spent $6 on all these ingredients. So let's get to it. The first thing I need to do is cook the rice because this is going to take about an hour and 15 minutes in my rice cooker. So I've got this rice right here. Now I'm not going to use the entire thing. I'm only going to use like maybe a cup of it. And then I'm going to put this can of the Rotel in there as well and fill it up the rest of the way with water. I'm also gonna add half of this packet of taco seasoning. I'm gonna save the other half for the lentils. Now, there are multiple ways of doing this. If you don't have a rice cooker, you can cook this like on the stove top. If you don't like brown rice, you can use white rice instead. And white rice will actually take less time to cook than brown rice. I think white rice is like 30 something minutes well, this one is about an hour and 15 minutes. So I just filled it up the rest of the way with water. I'm also going to add half of this packet. Another thing that you could do instead of using a packet of taco seasoning is obviously use your own spice mixes. Why do I always do that? I always miss. But you can do like a combination of cumin, chili powder, salt pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, like any kind of those seasonings, and that will save you an extra dollar when it comes to this meal. But I'm gonna stir this up. It smells awesome, by the way. So I'm just making like a Spanish rice, I guess. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to put this on top of the tostadas or um, like have it as a side item. I don't know yet. But we'll put this in here. Set that and then we will leave it alone for over an hour and then we'll get back to making dinner. 
now that the rice is done, it's dinner time and it's time to cook some lentils. So I've got a pot here with about three cups of water and then I am cooking just one cup of these lentils. So I need to rinse them first. And then once the water boils, I will add these to it as well as the rest of the taco seasoning. And then we'll be able, be able to get those tostadas in the oven. So here are the corn tostadas that I bought. Now there's really no directions on how to use them, but they're basically like hard taco shells looks like. So I believe I might just be able to put these on a baking sheet, put the lentils on top of it along with the cheese, and then just put it on the broiler setting in the oven for a couple of minutes, just enough for the cheese to melt. Because like I said, all right, some of these actually are broken. They look more like tortilla chips than anything. Or do I have it? Okay, yes. I do have some <laughs> that are um, not broken, so I will be able to use them, thankfully. And then the other ones we can just maybe even use as tortilla chips, but this looks pretty good. Let me, let's see, the water is just about getting ready to boil. I'll stick these on the baking sheet real quick, and then we'll get to those lentils. Okay, the water is boiling. Let's get these lentils in, and then I'll add the taco seasoning. We just need to let these boil and cook for like 15 minutes or so. A serving size is three of these guys. So I don't think I'll be able to get all of them on here at first. We'll see, now I can just fit six. So I'll do a little bit at a time and make sure that the lentils don't overflow. They look like they were trying to overflow on me. It's looking pretty good now. I think I need to drain this at least a little bit. And then we're going to mash it up so it's more of like a refried bean consistency. And then we'll stick them on these tostadas. Okay, you know what? Maybe I didn't cook them quite long enough. They're not, I mean, they're, they're edible. They're soft enough to eat, but I don't think they're quite soft enough to actually mash. It's okay though. Let's try sticking these on the tostadas and then put everything else on them and then broil them. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of thinking it's gonna be a little messy <laughs> trying to eat them, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm just putting a little bit of this cheese on here, and I picked mozzarella just because it's a little bit lower in fat than the other types of cheese. I know mozzarella doesn't typically go on like Mexican style dishes, but I've used it before. It's pretty good, and I don't know. It doesn't make it taste bad or anything. I like it. And then I also have some black olives I had sliced up and I'm going to add those on top as well. Um, I know they do sell them at Dollar Tree if you wanted to grab some for yourself, but I already had them at home. So I'm just using what I have. You could add other things on here, um, tomatoes, bell peppers. You could like grill up some onions to put on here. That would be good as well. But this is what I am using with mostly Dollar Tree ingredients. Okay, I'm gonna be broiling these. So I can only do one at a time. Let me ooh, put one in here. We'll put it on broil and then we'll watch it. It should only take maybe a couple of minutes. Okay, I can see it. It's starting to get all melty and crisp on top. Give it another minute and I will pull it out. Okay, those are smelling excellent. I'll put the other ones in and then we'll get these on a plate along with the Spanish rice. I decided it's probably easier to put the rice on the side as it was to put it on there. 
And this is what the rice looks like when it's all done. All the tomatoes like come onto the top. Just give it a good stir. It is fine. All right, well, I'm going to give it a shot. So it is holding up pretty well, to be honest with you. I mean, the olives are kind of falling off, but um, the, uh, during the boiling or the broiling process, it looks like the lentils kind of like caked on it, which is really good. So let's try it and see. Hmm. It could definitely use some salsa or something, or maybe even like sour cream or something on it, a little bit dry. And it might have been a little bit better if I were able to mash the lentils in like a refried bean kind of texture, but why don't you all learn from my mistake, cook your lentils longer before trying to mash them. But otherwise, this meal is delicious. I'm gonna go enjoy it. So here is a price comparison of all the items at Walmart versus Dollar Tree. First of all, ignore where it says $13.82. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. First, let's look at the mozzarella cheese right here. So the one I got at Dollar Tree was only like three or four ounces, and that was a dollar. And the smallest one they had at Walmart was eight ounces, and that is two eighteen. dollars So you're paying more at Walmart, however, you're getting more for it. So there's that. Next up is the taco seasoning, which the name brand was at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And the great value brand is 44 cents, so cheaper at Walmart. But then again, you can also make it even cheaper by making your own seasoning at home. So give or take, whatever. Next up is the lentils. Uh, the same exact size at Dollar Tree is a dollar versus 98 cents at Walmart. So Walmart is two cents cheaper, not a huge deal. The rice is a dollar at Dollar Tree for 32 ounces, so same size, and at Walmart it is 137. So down here, and also the Rotel diced tomatoes is 98 cents, um, same size and everything. It's a dollar at Dollar Tree, and then down here are the tostada shells. This is, I believe, I don't know. If Mine has 30 or not, but it was a dollar, and then it's $1.88 here at Walmart. So a little cheaper at Dollar Tree. Now the reason why it says $13.82 is because there's a $5.99 fee um, if you do less than $35. So we're not doing that. So the real total is $7.83, as opposed to $6 at Dollar Tree. Now up here, like the tostadas, you, you might get a little bit more at this one, I think. So you are paying a little bit more at Walmart, but a lot of that is because you can't get a smaller package of cheese here at uh, Walmart. So it might even out to be the same, and either way, you're not using all of the lentils and you're not using all of the rice and maybe not even all of the tostada shells. I still have some left over too. So you can use those to make more meals, thus saving more money. So all in all, I highly recommend trying those tostada shells. Yeah, a few of them were kind of broken, but just watch for that when you buy it. I didn't think to look at it when I bought it, so next time I'll be sure to look more closely. Also, it's a really good pantry meal to keep on hand. If you don't have tostada shells, just take your own like corn tortillas and bake them in the oven for a few minutes until they're crispy. It does the same thing. And then you may have beans or lentils, rice in the pantry as well. Maybe some diced tomatoes and taco seasoning. It'd be easy to put together on a weeknight. Leave me a comment and let me know what you do with those tostada shells. It's my first time ever doing it. I think they turned out pretty good, but I'm always looking for more ideas. In the meantime, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and do so right now and like this video and then ring that bell. And that way you'll be notified when more of my Dollar Tree meal videos come out, as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. 
you can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.